guys, it's Friday at Totally Book Sess. This week we are doing question and answer week. I want to thank every single person who asked me a question on my last video or on Twitter. I'm excited to answer them all and um, I hope you enjoy this video. Also, I'm filming this video on Wednesday, so if you ask me a question after that, I didn't get around to it, sorry. I did a run through before and it took me like 10 minutes, so this is going to be super fast, so listen carefully. What book would you like to live in and why? We actually did a video about this, but I'm going to do a cop out answer and choose Harry Potter because I love Harry Potter. What main character would you like to be and why? I would be Anna from Anna and the French Kiss because I love her and she has Etienne, which ties in to my next question, who would you choose as your book boyfriend and why? I'm gonna go with Etienne St. Clair because he's funny and he's intelligent and he has a British accent. So yep, yeah, you won me over. Sorry, I'm adjusting the camera here. Um, adult books. Read them, love them, hate them. I would like to read more of them, but I do not. I do enjoy the ones I read most of the time. Like I read the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo series. I enjoyed that. So um, I don't, I haven't read enough to make up my mind. That's my answer, but I do not mind them. What book did you not like that everyone else loved. Um, I feel like I'm one of those readers who is always like out of the norm and I don't really always like the books that other people are liking so um, I really didn't like A Need So Beautiful by Suzanne Young and The Unbecoming of Mary Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. Both of them. Everyone loved them. I did not. If you were not reading or blogging, what are you doing? I am eating and sleeping. Yep. Yeah. I'm eating. Not, not even kidding. Summer or winter? Summer, because I can wear summer clothes. Winter, I just wear like whatever keeps me warm. What is your ideal summer plans? I would love to travel. Traveling. My dream is to travel around Europe, backpacking across Europe. Cliched, but I would love to do that. Mm. Favorite snack? Can I say ice cream? I used to have a carton of ice cream sitting there that I could have showed you to prove how much I liked ice cream, but... Maybe not this time. Do you see yourself reading YA 30 years from now? I do, but I do feel like my like selection would be a lot less than I am reading right now. I feel like I would, I'm would. i never going to be prejudiced against teen books because it's been such a big part of my life, but I am hoping that my reading taste will move on a little bit as I grow older. Um, do you have any weird reading habits? No, I do not, but I guess my basic reading routine is reading in bed, I want a good light, and I don't need silence, but I do like it to be quiet. I don't eat or I don't drink anything when I'm reading, and I like to read like continuously, not like walk around every chapter or something. What, um, wait, besides Harry Potter, what other books have impacted your life the most? This one's a tough one because I feel like while some books like hit close to home or whatever, they don't really like alter my life, but a couple books that like hit close that made me think a lot is one is the Chaos Walking Trilogy by Patrick Ness because it definitely made me think a lot about like different sides and how um, something like war can have so many different sides and it shows how nothing is ever black and white and there's always gray. And I'm also going to put Wander Love by Kirsten Hubbard in that pile because I felt like I read it at a time in my life where it's like I just graduated high school and I, um, the character Bria, she resonated so much with me and like her travels inspired me to do more traveling on my own and not be like lazy so yeah those two books. If you could ask William Shakespeare one question what would it be? Thanks for that question! Um, I would ask him what he would do if there was a zombie apocalypse and I will confess right now I have not read a single Shakespeare work before. What books are part of your summer reading list? Um, not many. I didn't really make a list. I'm hoping to read the Game of Thrones series by George R.R. R. Martin along with Insurgent because I just got my copy. Yay! So yep, those two books. Um, anything else is just like what is nearby because I'm traveling and I'm not having that many books. When did you first come up with your blog title and why? I actually have been blogging since June 2009 so it's like two years and 11 months, almost three years. So yeah, that's kind of exciting. But um, I thought about it because honestly there weren't that many book blogs around back then and I wanted like a create uni unique title which obviously um, holes in my brain you're probably thinking, what were you thinking? And I guess it was just because like, I liked the idea of like putting down my thoughts and then you can see it through the holes in my brain. I don't know, I was like 15, 16. Oops. Um, also, related note, I must be like the worst person at branding ever. Like, you know how like people tell you that you have to put all your, all your usernames have to be like the same? When I first started out, my blog name, my email address, my Twitter, and my Tumblr, they're all different. So, holes in my brain is like the, I don't know. 
<laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. I guess I'm not very good. What's your number one go-to author? Melina Marchetta. But anyone in my holy trinity plus like four. I will read any of their books. Random playlist time. Make a book idea with the first three songs that pop up. And the first three songs that I have most recently added have been Payphone by Maroon 5, As It Seems by Lily Kershaw, and We Are Young by Fun. And I guess it will just be a book about young people who get in trouble and have to use the payphone, but then someone will die because As It Seems is a sad song. That's why I'm not an author. <laughs> yep. Um, what barn animal would you be and why? I would be a sheep, so I would have all that fur to stay warm. What's your favorite motto for life? I'm gonna quote Robert Frost here. In three words, I can sum up everything I've learned about life. It goes on. But of course, there's also my little mini mantra. When I write something stupid, I'm like, they're never going to see me again. It's fine. And I can move on with my day. What are your favorite foods? I love ice cream a lot. Um, I really like lasagna with meat sauce TV dinners and when I cook my own eggs. I feel like I make the be best eggs ever, but I'm totally biased. Have you read any books by Lauren Miracle? No, I have not, but I intend on reading Shine because I've heard it was fantastic. And favorite movie of all time? I'm gonna say Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. My favorite series or my favorite movies are Lord of the Rings and the second movie is has been my favorite. Um, that's about it. I think this is a lot shorter than like 12 minutes or whatever that it was the first time around. Thanks for sending in all your questions. I really liked answering them. They were really fun. And bye guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Ashley.